Hey guys, this is Urban Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video might actually be the most unimpressive <laughs> Sharpool video that uh, I have ever done unless I decide to change my mind or unless something else happens. The reason why I'm saying that is because, well, for the first time ever, we have a two times chance from Primal Shards to get mythical heroes, okay? mythical champions the the only thing that you know i want to say before we start this is why did they have to take away the two times from epics and legendaries that's that's my look is like like why why could it not be two times everything but anyway i guess it is what it is this is how they decide to do things and well there's not much we can do for now unless maybe give feedback and say just keep it two times on everything please maybe that would be nicer but I guess let's let's take this for now. So there's a one percent chance to get mythical heroes, uh, champions. I'm gonna keep saying heroes because I'm sorry, play other games, different names, whatnot. But I have ten primals, and I think I really want to pull them because uh, there's some interesting rewards, and I think I could grab myself a few points from fusing stuff like here. Maybe I pull him, and the re what I mean is actually the champion chase tournament is going on right now. So there's some interesting rewards after I, you know, after you get from the first initial one. So after you start getting higher up here, the books would be nice. The mythic tome would also be nice. And obviously the, the one at the top, that would be the, you know, main prize. Obviously there's like a trick over here. There's the eternal soul stone. I guess it kind of tries to make us pull more. You know, I'm not sure what's in the global. Okay, global they have three, so definitely might be a little bit of a whale fest. People might actually go crazy for this just because of those stones, because these ones are priced at like 20, 30, like I don't know, I never buy soul stones. But I might be enticed to pull some stuff, like I'm not sure exactly what I would want to go with. I've, you know, I would hope for a miracle to get a few thousand points from these 10, but I don't think so. And then I'm still going to have another day or so to decide, do I actually want to pull some ancients, some voids, some sacreds, just to top up and try and get that... Uh, you know, that's all stone. Or maybe if I get pretty high, you know, and get some books, maybe I stop there. I don't know. Leave it to the comments below. What do you guys think? Do you think these rewards are worth pulling more than just the primal shards? Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's, you know, there's really hard ways and uh, like almost close to none to actually get the eternal soul stone. So that, that's the only thing that kind of made me like decide, okay, I'm going to go for it. So let's start the most unimpressive shard pull session ever. I'm just going to pull them one by one because, well, I have 10, this will be like a three minute video, that's it. So maybe we're going to hope some luck. Maybe I get my first ever mythic champion because I have none. I'm not close to getting a Lady Mika yet because I still need the, the Void Rare. So I might be going, you know, I might be losing my mind and pulling some of the, some of the Void Rares, but who knows? So let's see. One by one, wish me luck. Let's see what's going to happen. Plus, I don't want to pull a temple because if I do a temple, it shows you the points be, uh, before and that would be unimpressive, unexciting, and it kind of defeats the purpose, you know, of the dopamine of, of pulling shards, right? So let's see. Do I get lucky? Do I not? Am I going to get all 10 rares? So far, like two rares. I, I did not get any luck. No legendary yet from primals. I don't think I pulled that many though. Let me see. Do I have that tracker in... Uh, RSL, I think I pulled, yeah, it says here that I pulled like 8, so <laughs> not too many. I'm not expecting much, but why not? They gave us two times a uh, chance to get the mythical hero. Okay, I actually got an epic. She got an epic. Okay, Carlinia, I'll take the 250 points. So, you know, the higher the rarity, the better during these, uh, these champion ch chase uh, tournaments. Also, there's a champion training going on right now, so it might give me reasons to file some more campaign, you know, to get some more uh, rewards from that one as well. I don't have the skin from Ronda for there, so... Okay, that was a lag for a starter. Kale, oh my god. <laughs> like, why do we have rares in here? But never mind. This is not the idea. We're not complaining about rares. We're here just to try and see if you can get some good stuff. Petri Petrifia Rock Tooth is actually one of those interesting ones because, well, I called her the new Frozen Banshee or like better than Frozen Banshee. And because her kit overall is a little bit more interesting than Frozen Banshee's kit because she brings more stuff. She's not the better poisoner than Frozen Banshee, but she brings more things, you know, decrease, uh, decrease defense, decrease attack and all the other stuff. But let's see. Come on. Any luck? Any luck? Let's get some more rares. Preserver. Yes, please. If only I had the resin fusion to do again, I might I might be happy with that one. <laughs> Come on. Few more. Few more. Let's see. Another rare. Is it going to be another farmable run? No, it's Judge. Keep in mind Judge for the secret rooms. He's really amazing with this double hit. 
Put him in a stance, give him crit, and he's gonna do some good, uh, you know, he's gonna do some work for the attack, secret rooms for the, what's it called, the magic, rare only ones, so Judge is definitely one of those good ones. Come on, any luck, any luck. I mean, again, not expecting much, but hoping, you know, don't expect anything when you pull shards, just expect the worst, hope for the best. That, that's about the reality. Come on, come on, let's see, okay, more rares, <laughs> oh my god. Or else witness, uh, let's see, can we witness my first ever mythic hero, my, most, uh, my first ever mythic champion? No, we cannot. We can witness nine rares and an epic. So I don't even think I got to like the first two rewards. So the question that I asked you guys earlier might just be the... I might, I might just answer myself with this one, saying that like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go with other stuff. Maybe if I would have gotten more epics and, you know, seen some luck to push me forward, but like this... I don't know, I want to blast everything else. We already had this weekend where we had two times everything and I didn't really go for that, honestly. Didn't really go for that. Maybe tomorrow when the Soul, uh, Soul Chase tournament starts, I might be pulling, you know what? Tomorrow I might be pulling all of these ones. I have quite a few of the Mortal Soul Stones and during the Soul Chase, that's the best time for you to pull your Mortal Soul Stones, okay? Because these ones can, you know, RNG a chance to give you better stuff. When we're coming to the Soul Rush, that's when you pull the bigger ones, and that's when you saw me re uh, recently pull like 17 of these ones, four or five of the Eternal ones, so yeah. But apart from that, there's nothing, you know, there's not much going on. I'm really curious what's gonna happen with the new content. Like, what do you guys think? I have a feeling like it has the potential to make or break the game, honestly. That, that's my opinion. The way that they implement, or like whatever is gonna be the new, uh, the new content with, you know, the free city of Centranos, that, uh, that's going to be decisive from my point of view for the future of Raid for a lot of people, a lot of people. But yeah, when it comes to this one, like I said, I think I might be going for this champion training, uh, especially because you know what? I can give myself a, a skin of Ronda for like just doing 12,000 champion training points. And because it's a champion training tournament, these ones are usually easier than like the champion training events because you get points from far more things like not just from leveling up or ranking up also sending also if you want to use books or maybe if you have like a million rare books saved up <laughs> let me see they still have a ton okay like you have like me maybe you have 109 rare books which don't give damage during cvc you might be debating you might be debating to do that but let me know guys did you pull your primals today for the for a chance to get a mythic and also are you going for this champion training tournament because it's a four day one you know it's a four day one that's what that's what kind of makes you want to go for it not just the skin but legendary tome on the way some more of these crystals some more of these primal crystals to try and give myself another one pull who knows and yeah so some good rewards along the way but anyway I guess this is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.